Did you know that during the construction of a new home, a builder will send about 20 pickup truck loads worth of construction debris to the landfill? That's a lot of waste. Well, today we're in Austin, Texas, and we're going to take a look at a green building program that teaches builders how to use recycled materials and use them for building products on your new house. Jill Mayfield works with the City of Austin's Green Building Program, advising builders and residents on ways to design and construct environmentally friendly homes. When it comes to floor coverings today, you have a lot of choices when it comes to environmentally sound products. Take this tile, for example. Well, you know, it looks like a normal tile, but what makes it so special? Well, it's recycled glass from windshields of planes and cars. And why is that more environmentally friendly? Well, less of it ends up in the landfill. Yeah, probably use less energy as well, A I guess. whole lot less energy, which creates less pollution. Linoleum is another great choice when it comes to environmentally sound flooring. You remember how dull and boring linoleum used yeah, to be, not really. very many colors. Today there are lots of beautiful colors when there it comes are. to choosing linoleum. Linoleum is really a great environmentally sound product. It takes a lot less energy to make it because it's made from cork and linseed oil, which are naturally occurring products. Another thing is that it has a really great antibacterial quality to it. Really? That keeps floors cleaner. Interesting. Well, Jill, I hate to paint, and it seems like about every two years I have to paint my deck. This is actually uh, Trex, a composite deck material that's made of recycled materials? Right, it's made from grocery bags and wood chips. It's very durable, you'll never have to refinish it, so it really cuts down on maintenance. This is just another variety of the recycled content decking material. Uh, this has a rougher finish, and so we see this in a lot of different places, both commercial and residential applications. Now you have some carpet over here, right? Right. And this is made out of recycled material? This is made out of pop bottles, believe it or not. Really? This type of plastic is recycled into a very sturdy, stain-resistant carpet. And this, this material here, it, it fills just like regular carpet. Does it wear the same? Just the same. It's very good carpet and it's readily available. Is it expensive? No, not any more expensive, but people do need to ask for it. I've got some more materials here to show you. The Green Building Program consults with builders to help them make good choices from the foundation to the ceiling. These are some new materials we're seeing in roofing. Pretty exciting. Yeah, well, this looks like a wood shake. What is it uh, made out of? It's actually made out of recycled car tires. Really? Right. Really? This is a slate look, and it's also made out of recycled car tires. Now, will this last as long as um, a normal shingle? or As more? long or longer, really? right. And the right. sun doesn't destroy it? No, it does not. It's very durable. And cost? Cost, a little more up front, but it lasts a very long time. Steve, in addition to helping builders make good choices on building materials, we help them make good choices on landscaping as well. In Central Texas, as is anywhere, it's important to use a water-wise landscaping. Well, when we purchase plants for our home, we're always looking for something that doesn't make our place look barren, but at the same time, saves water. What ideas do you have? Let's see what we advise the builder to do over here. Steve, this is buffalo grass. It's a native Texas grass that's been adapted for lawns. It doesn't require much water, it only grows about six inches, and it's very drought tolerant. Well, I love it, a grass that you don't have to water much and you don't have to mow. What other ideas do you have for landscape? Let's look at some plants over here. So Jill, what do we have here? Well, this is a xeriscape. These are plants that look good but don't need a lot of water. Well, it does look good, lots of flowers. The plants have filled in really well. But what about the household? Where do they get their water from? Well, as you can see, we're out in the country and it's a semi-arid climate, so we advise the builder to use a rainwater collection system. How does it work? Well, it's a really efficient way to collect water. Rain falls on the roof, into the gutters, into the downspouts, and into a filtration system under the ground. Steve, this is the filtration system for our rainwater collection system. It uses carbon to take impurities out of the rainwater as it comes off the roof. You mean like uh, bugs, debris, leaves, things like that? Right. Then after that, it goes to an underground holding tank or a cistern. Jill, this is one big tank. How much does this hold? About 40,000 gallons. Remember, we took all the rainwater off the roof and through the filters into this holding tank. Well, 40,000 gallons is a lot, but is it enough? It is enough for a family of four for a year for average use, and it only takes about 10 inches of rain a year to keep this tank full. Well, you've showed us a lot of great things today about being environmentally conscious, some of it a little bit exotic. What do you have for the average person? The Green Building Program has an affordable program for people of all income levels. Jill, tell me about this project and where we're at. 
Now we're in East Austin with Casa Verde Builders. They're building energy efficient, resource efficient homes for low income families. Well, Jill, we're inside the house now. This certainly doesn't look like drywall. No, it's a structural insulated panel and it's a piece of foam sandwiched between two engineered panels. And the foam, the great thing about that is it's made with no ozone depleting chemicals. What kind of R value could we expect out of one of these? A little over 16. Yeah. Another good thing about this wall is that there's no uh, studs used because this is a load bearing piece, so we use a lot less wood. Yeah, so in a normal home, you'd get maybe 30% of the total buildings is frame, it's wood. Right. And the R value of a wood structural member is not as good as the foam, so this really reduces a lot of that frame. Right, because it's just one piece without the studs, and so there's no transference of air across there, and so you save energy, definitely. Another really cool feature about these houses are the finger jointed studs. Instead of using long pieces of lumber from old growth forest, we're taking shorter pieces and putting them together to make these beams. The green building program not only saves natural resources, but neighborhoods as well. The program built 50 new environmentally friendly homes last year in low income neighborhoods and plans to build 150 more over the next five years. If you'd like more information on the green building program and ways to get a program like this started in your city, contact us on the internet at michaelholligan.com. Thank mm -hmm. you.